Good evening, guys. Hope everyone's doing all right. It's been a crazy week, but I'm going to try to get some videos out for you guys. Uh, real quick, we are going to install Linux 2023, uh, the KVM version, onto our Proxmox server. Uh, therefore, we can use Amazon Linux 2023 images. Uh, the first part of it is going to be actually getting it set up, uh, create the actual, and when I say that, it's basically creating the VM configuration file and stuff like that so that you have it. Then we'll download the uh, actual image and then we'll actually use CloudInit, uh, local CloudInit, to install it and get it all set up. So first off, a uh, little bit of information. This is the uh, how to or where to uh, download the images uh, to use. And then from there, we can actually go to the index. And from the index, we can see uh, inside of the KVM, the file that we're looking for. I'm initially setting this up so that you uh, download the older image so we can go through some scripts on how you can set it to auto update. Uh, basically, that's just a, a real quick way of doing it so you don't have to constantly go out here and download the latest and greatest ones that they have. Uh, there's nothing wrong with doing it that way, but if you want to kind of do a hands free uh, approach, you don't have to. There is a uh, version that's out that's newer, is uh, I think the 8.5, so it would be 2024.0.8.05 uh, for KVM, but we're going to use this one right here. So the first thing that we need to do is on our Proxmox uh, server here, you can either go through a console to the actual uh, server itself. Uh, so that would be this one here. And then you hit shell. And you can do it from the shell command. But I'm actually going to SSH into it uh, by using putty. So I'm SSH into it. Here is my uh, logged in as root uh, for that. Uh, the code that we're going to put in there and this will be in the documentation on the website as well as uh, in the description. Uh, if you look at our VS code here, just to go down through this real quick, you basically have the um, create um, the number, and then the name's going to be the AL2023. Uh, memory's going to be 2 gig. Machine's going to be a Q35. This might be a little bit different than what you're used to seeing. The VIO MMU is going to be Intel. Cores is going to be 2. CPU is going to be host. The net zero is going to be the virtual bridge VMVR zero. It may be different on yours, but uh, most of the time it's not. Boot C, boot disk is going to be a SCSI. SCSI hardware is going to be the vert, vert IO, uh, SCSI PCI, uh, serial zero socket, and then the VGA is going to go to the serial socket. We're going to take that code. Uh, from that code, we're actually going to uh, go back to our SSH connection to the Proxmox server. And there we're going to paste that. Enter, and we have created the VM uh, configuration file for that. And basically, what we do is we go back to our Proxmox, and we look at seven thousand. And here it is. Here's the name. It did all that information, set it all up for us. Like I said, we could have gone through the wizard to do it, uh, but we didn't. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, one thing that we are going to want to do is get the uh, image file which I showed you that was right here. Next, what you're going to want to do is actually change to the directory where your uh, files are stored or your images. Uh, so for me, it's going to be the PVEYT NFS. Okay, so this is the file that we want to wget. And where I got that from is I just right-clicked from our ISO images. Amazon site is a copy link address. So that's what the copy link address is. We're going to go back to our putty session and we're going to say wget that file there. It'll take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't take too long. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen. The next thing we want to do is actually import that uh, drive or that image uh, that's there, the QCOW2 image. And we want to import that into our uh, VM that we just created, and we actually created that on 7000, not 700. Uh, so we'll just run this command. It's basically a QM import disk, and it'll go through and it's actually uh, expanding it and uh, putting it into that actual VM config file. Okay, it says that it successfully imported the disk as unused and it put it into our VM 7000 as a raw disk. Um, so what we need to do now is actually go to Back to our uh, Proxmox uh, graph interface there. And then we'll go to the 7000 that we created. 
And we can now see that there's the disk that we just declared in for. So what we want to do now is just highlight that disk. We want to hit edit. Um, we want this to be SATA. That's the disk. And we're going to put about that and click add. Now we have the hard disk that's added on here, which is good. Um, all this stuff was previously created. The next thing that we need to do, since we're going to be actually setting this up with the uh, cloud init drive, we need to add a cloud init drive. We're going to put that in the NFS as well. We're going to click add. So now we've got cloud init and the hard disk. And what we need to do now is we need to set up this information here. You can just use whatever users you want, but I'm just going to do my MD tech. Password, you can put a password in here. You don't have to. Uh, I like to so that you can actually log into the console itself, but for remote access, it will not do that. Um, and the next thing is, is the SSH public key, and then it says RSA key there. Uh, upgrade packages, you can say yes or no to that. We're actually, uh, I would say yes in most cases, but uh, I want to show you how to set up a script for this, so I'm going to say no to that. And then IP config, uh, you can do static. Both IP version 6 or 4. I'm going to say DHCP for both. Click OK. And the biggest thing that you most likely want to do here is hit the regenerate image. And every time you make a clone of this, you're going to want to do that same thing uh, to regenerate image. So we say regenerate image. It's regenerated the image. We're all set from that side of the uh, part of it. So for the cloud init part, uh, next thing is our hardware. Uh, the hardware, since we added the drives and all our stuff later, uh, what we're going to need to do, I'm sorry, in options, what we need to do is change the boot order. So in here, we need to make sure that our drive moves up in the order here, and then it's set to be enabled. Uh, that way it boots off from that hard drive itself. So from those steps, that's pretty much it. First thing is, is you create the uh, VM config file. Uh, next thing you do is you actually download the image that you want to use and then uh, actually uh, import that, uh, change that, add that in. Uh, make sure you add the cloud init drive, uh, fill out the cloud init information. And then uh, from there, we're actually just, we're going to power this up here in just a minute and then uh, go through the uh, setup, which is extremely fast and easy. So there's our 7000 and we're going to say start and we're going to go to console. And we're at our lock. I'm not 100% sure why this is blacked out, but, uh, or whited out, I'm sorry. So log into that. And we are all set. Um, it does say here that there are some newer versions of it. Um, so I am going to get the IP address real quick. And that's my IP address, 1926837. IP address in, and next thing from that. The appearance just looks, looks a little bit bigger. Twenty and SSH off. And we want the credentials, and we're going to pull in our private key and click open. Accept. Log in. Check. Login is MB Tech. And it's using the RSS key. And there we go. We have Amazon Linux, the uh, older version, just that it, and then it shows that there's actually two. There's actually one that was a 730 and 805 on here. So we can actually upgrade this, but we're not going to. Uh, those versions are available, and we're up and running. You know, most of your commands work here. They did remove some of them, uh, but we are all set here. And now you are running. Amazon Linux on a Proxmox server. Uh, so it wasn't too bad. You can do this other images as well. You can actually uh, do the uh, cloud versions of uh, Ubuntu, uh, I think Rocky, and some of the other ones as well. Uh, same type of setup, same steps and stuff like that. Uh, might be a little bit different with the uh, type of system and stuff like that. Uh, we'll get it set here, I think the, the Q35. Um, so that might be a little bit different uh, here, the Q35. That might be a little bit different on some of our systems, but we can, we can try doing those setups. Uh, next is going to be doing the script to automatically update the image to keep it to the latest and greatest. Thank you for watching. If you would, please like and subscribe. Again, my name is Matthew Bingham with MV Tech. Have a great night.